Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the best laptops for programming you can buy right now. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research, and I've listed them based on performance, versatility, and price. I've included options for every type of consumer, so whether you're a student looking for a budget model or a seasoned coder looking for the best, we'll have the product for you. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Acer Aspire 5 Slim. This is our best budget laptop for programming. The Acer Aspire 5 is a top choice for those in search of a budget laptop, especially if you're a student looking for a good laptop for programming that won't break the bank. Currently priced at $650, the Acer Aspire 5 is an affordable all-purpose laptop which you can use for programming, and it can also handle most tasks you will throw at it. The Aspire 5 sports the latest 10th gen Intel Core i5 processor that will give you speeds up to 4.2 GHz. There's 8 GB of RAM on board, plus you get an NVIDIA GeForce MX250 graphics card with 2 GB of dedicated VRAM. This should be good enough to handle most, if not all of your tasks with ease. One of the best things about this laptop is its 512GB SSD. For the price, you're getting a good amount of storage coupled with the faster SSD drive. Plus another bonus is the backlit keyboard, which is unusual for budget laptops in this price range. The feel of the keys is a little shallow, but they still press with a snappy click and can handle your typing with precision. The Aspire 5 has a 15.6-inch LED-lit IPS panel, and the full HD widescreen display provides a nice crisp and clear picture. One of the best things about the display is that it has the Acer Blue Light Shield feature that keeps your eyes free from strain. This is especially helpful to reduce eye strain during those long nights of coding, when you have to spend many hours staring straight into the monitor. Another highlight is the long battery life of this laptop. You get up to 9.5 hours of battery on a single charge. The features are keyboard and touchpad. The keyboard and touchpad are extremely comfortable. Display. The Aspire 5 Slim's display is better than most budget displays and has blue light shield to make it easier on your eyes. Storage. It comes with 512GB SSD drive for fast read and writes. The pros are performance. Solid productivity performance with an inexpensive upside. Battery. Very good battery performance. And for the cons, size. It's smaller than the previous model, but still bulky. Display. Bezels on the displays are still quite large. If you're a student looking for a budget laptop for programming, the Acer Aspire 5 is an extremely well-priced laptop that presents solid performance and long battery life combined with a nice display, making it an excellent deal for the money. The fourth product on our list is the LG Gram 17. This is our best 17-inch laptop for programming. Long programming sessions staring at the small screen on your laptop can be hard. If you're looking for some extra screen real estate, then you may want to check out the LG Gram 17, which is currently available for $1,500. The LG Gram 17 is the lightest 17-inch laptop available, weighing just 2.9 pounds. The 17-inch IPS display sports tiny bezels and it's bright, colorful, and looks sharp with high color accuracy and is viewable from extreme off-center angles. Internally, the Gram 7 is powered by an Intel Core i7 processor, along with 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of NVMe SSD. So it's a pretty capable machine and can handle heavy multitasking with compilers, code editors, and a browser loaded with tabs without any hiccups. That's enough performance to chew through any heavyweight IDE out there. Where the Gram 17 is a real winner is battery life. The 19 hours of battery life on this machine is amazing. Especially considering its larger screen size and processing power, a battery life like this is unheard of. The features are Display 17 inches of screen space packed into an incredibly light laptop. Processor It has a powerful quad-core processor. Weight It's one of the lightest 17-inch laptops ever. The pros are Storage 1 terabyte hard drive. Battery Monster battery life up to 19 hours. Speed Data transfers are quick with the 3.0 USB ports. And for the cons, audio, poor speaker audio. Bottom mounted speakers can be easily muffled if you have the system in your lap or on any other surface that's not hard. If you like the idea of having a bigger laptop screen for editing code on, then a 17 inch model will be the right choice. With the LG Gram 17, you get enough processing power under the hood to ensure your programming tools run without a hitch. The third product on our list is the Google Pixelbook. This is our best Chromebook for Android development. 
The Google Pixelbook is a good choice to consider if you're an Android developer looking for a killer Linux Ubuntu interface and a laptop that can integrate with Google software and services with full support for running Android software natively, and it's currently priced at $1,550. The Pixelbook has been designed to compete with the bigger boys in laptops. While it still runs Chrome OS, which supports Google's Android Studio development tools, and it's the closest Chromebook to a real computer, with 512GB storage, 16GB RAM, i7 processor, and a solid-state hard drive, the hardware is right up there with a standard Windows laptop. One of the benefits of using a Pixelbook for programming is that you can boot it up in developer mode and get the latest version of Ubuntu up and running within an hour. Ubuntu is a super powerful Linux style operating system that is heavily supported by the open source community. In addition, you can also run Linux apps. On the downside, you will not find all of the supported software that you will normally get with a Windows or Mac computer. If you commonly use software such as Microsoft Office or Apple applications, the Chromebook may not be for you. The battery lasts about 10 hours and takes about 2 hours to fully charge. The battery life of the Pixelbook is not as good as some other Chromebooks, but still fully capable to handle a day's work before charging for the night. The features are Linux, an excellent Android development platform capable of running full fat Linux. RAM and hard drive. You get 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD drive for fast read and writes. Google Assistant. It's a Chromebook. It's built in. You expect no less from Google. The pros are battery. 10 plus hours of battery life. Versatility, can run Linux and Android apps. And for the cons, expensive. It's expensive considering it's not as powerful as Windows or Mac laptops. For Android developers, the Pixelbook is one of the best laptops for programming and perfect for programmers who want the familiar Chrome OS in a high quality laptop. The second product on our list is the Dell XPS 15. This is our best overall laptop for programming. If you want one of the best overall laptops for programming, and at the same time, one of the best laptops for Linux programming, you're looking at it. The Dell XPS 15, and it's currently priced at $1,650. Dell created this powerful workstation to serve as a programmer's best friend or someone who needs a lot of computing power. It offers an almost perfect balance between performance, quality, and value. It's powered by an Intel Core i7, 32GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. A powerful processor and plenty of RAM is more than enough to run IDEs and VMs with ease. Furthermore, the i7 processor is a 6-core, high-performance CPU, which will be useful for a long time, and 32GB of RAM means you won't be upgrading for a while. The GTX 1050 Ti is a capable graphics card. Although it's not the most powerful, but you can play 1080p demanding games on low to medium settings, which happens to be one of the best ways to release stress after coding for long hours. When it comes to the display, you have a 15.6-inch 4K UHD display. What that means for you is that it's bright, has great viewing angles, and high color accuracy and reproduction. Plus, you'll be able to fit more applications on the screen when coding. In short, a beautiful display. Unfortunately, such high-resolution displays eat into battery life. Don't be mistaken, the battery life is still great though, but it would have been far longer if it had a full HD display instead. It can last 8 to 9 hours under consistent use, which is still above average. Every programmer is concerned about the keyboard. The Dell XPS 15 doesn't disappoint. It has the right amount of tactile feedback, key spacing, and travel. This allows you to type at your near-max WPM for long periods. One major downside to mention is the webcam position, which is located at the bottom center of the display. The features are Display has an incredible 15.6-inch 4K UHD display. Keyboard Keyboard feels extremely nice to type on, good tactile feedback. The pros are battery, above average battery life, lightweight, the Dell is extremely lightweight. And for the cons, webcam. The webcam is placed at an odd position. Overall, the Dell XPS 15 is a pretty maxed laptop that just flies over everything you throw at it. Hence, it's the perfect programming laptop for game developers, hardcore graphics programmers, and even avid gamers for wind down periods after long programming sessions. The first product on our list is the MacBook Pro 16. This is our best laptop for iOS development. For all the Swift lovers and Objective-C coders, MacBook Pro is the best laptop for programming for you to make apps and games for iOS and macOS, and it's currently priced at $2,200. Aside from its high price, the MacBook Pro is a hard one to beat. 
It's powered by Coffee Lake i7 6-core processor paired with 16 gigabytes of RAM and dedicated AMD Radeon Pro 555X graphics. Together, it outputs enough performance to fire up all your local servers and code editors. It will come as no surprise that an Apple laptop is best for developing for iOS. Its powerful i7 processor provides super fast processing speeds. Its graphics AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with 4GB GDDR5 memory is helpful for sharing some tasks and makes multitasking even faster. Another important feature that stands out is its beautiful 15-inch display. Two Thunderbolt ports help you transfer the backup of your data onto external devices at a high speed. When we talk about mic and speakers of this Apple beast, Apple ensures quality and rich experience without any need of additional hardware. Its 16 gigabytes of memory will keep multitasking simple, and the 512 gigabyte SSD storage enables lightning fast booting and loading. If you're required to write in Swift, Apple's native language for iOS development, the MacBook Pro has enough processing power for the language's infamously costly compiling. Plus, since Macs can run Windows just fine via Boot Camp or in a virtual machine such as Parallels, you'll be able to use your Mac to develop apps for any platform on Earth. The features are Display, Immersive Retina Display, Specs, Incredible Performance Specs with 8-Core Processor and AMD Radeon Pro 5000M. The pros are Speed, the i7 processor provides excellent processing speed. Transfer Speed, you can transfer and backup data into external storages at 20 Gbps. Battery life. It has a long battery life, the largest battery ever in a MacBook Pro. And for the cons, expensive. It's pricey, but it's a MacBook Pro. When it comes to programmers, the MacBook Pro is a great option to increase productivity in general, especially if you're using Swift and Objective-C Coder. The Apple MacBook Pro 16 is the best option for you to build games and apps for Mac OS and iOS. All right, guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.